Hi guys, over the last few days I have received a flood of emails, tweets and Facebook posts about the event that took place this past Sunday. It's been amazing, truly humbling to see the support and encouragement you have given us and to hear about the faith that drives you all as Kenyans. So I just want to take a brief moment to say thank you. Thank you to all who attended the I Believe experience. I know that there are those of you who showed up early in the day and stayed with us right through to the end. Thank you for attending. Your presence alone spoke volumes about what this nation can achieve when it comes together and when it commits itself to the dream of a better Kenya. I want to say thank you to all of you in the diaspora, many of you who are extremely busy and the time difference didn't make it easy for you to take part. Thank you for tuning in anyway through the live stream and thank you for texting and Facebooking, tweeting and retweeting your own thoughts and your own beliefs. You remind us that being Kenyan is not temporal, not defined by tribe, nor where we live. It is defined by our hope for Kenya, our willingness to work towards the kind of country we've always wanted. And finally, I'd like to thank all of you who are actively involved in setting up this event. It's been a busy few weeks for you, and I'm truly grateful for all you did. Thank you to all who are part of the technical team. You guys did an incredible job. Thank you to all who operated the sound and lighting equipment, those who set up the stage, those who made up the photography and videography crew, and of course, all those who have been organizing this event from behind the scenes, making endless phone calls, emails, as part of the planning process. Thank you to Team Uhuru for volunteering and for spreading the word through social media. And thank you also to all those in other counties who participated in and hosted parallel events throughout this country. The fact that this event was largely coordinated by young people, generally below the age of 35, I think that says something to us. It tells us that even though the young people have been taught to look up to the elders for help, it is now time for the elders to turn to the youth and let them know that it's their time. It's their time to take up the stage, to rise up, to speak out, and to tackle the fundamental and recurring problems that we've seen in this country. I believe that today, our nation finds itself at a juncture in history where the youth are presenting an ultimatum. They have made it clear that they won't be satisfied by the empty promises, that they want realistic policies that seek to address their core needs. And that is why this movement exists, to honor the wisdom of the old, but at the same time to fuse that with the passion, innovation, ideas and direction of the youth, so that we, together, can craft a working agenda to deal with the real issues. So thank you for supporting us, and I hope you will tell your families, friends, and colleagues who also believe to join us in this movement. Thank you for watching. More so, thank you for believing. God bless you, and God bless Kenya. Asante ni sana. Building a better Kenya. I believe.